financial econometrics as the name suggests is about application of statistical modeling techniques in financial market data but it's not right limited to only financial market data there are also other applications but loosely we can define it as application of uh, econometrics or statistical modeling in financial market data there are many areas of finance where financial econometrics is heavily used some of these are risk management quantitative trading pricing of different financial products and then portfolio management uh, corporate finance these are some of the areas where financial econometrics is used what are the topics that come under financial econometrics it's not limited to the list that you can see on the screen but some of the most important ones used in uh, uh, are these okay first one is optimal asset allocation this is very important for the portfolio management and then value at risk uh, is very famous in risk management in the market risk where you identify risk based on movement in the market uh, prices of the different assets so that value at risk then capital asset pricing model so those who have studied corporate finance you would know that it's a very famous model to price different assets so arbitrage pricing model so arbitrage is basically where you know you take advantage of the the differences in two markets traders basically they take advantage of that difference and and make money out of it use financial econometrics in uh, forecasting forecasting different uh, financial data be it uh, forex be it stock price be it stock index we use financial time series basically for that and then you can also use it for volatility modeling so volatility is about knowing the risk associated with a with a given uh, right volatility is about uncertainty in the future and uncertainty is basically important to assess the risk associated with a given asset and then for pricing point of view also it's very important because you do a risk based price we also use financial economy in term structure of interest rate or it's known as yield curve right even if you're not from a finance background you might have heard about yield curve especially these days right during the corona times where you know we are going through a financial crisis an economic crisis the yield curve right you might have read in the newspaper that is now uh, downward sloping right so in yield curve analysis is basically where you see the future interest rate of the market efficiency right you might have heard about efficient market hypothesis so there also researcher do a lots of analysis on uh, understanding the efficiency and the deficiency both are important right efficiency as well as deficiency in the market and financial econometrics is also used there and apart from that there are other many other topics right uh, like anomaly detection in the price data uh, or in the market data uh, or analysis on uh, economic downturns a possibility of economic downturn forecasting those things some of the popular modeling techniques in financial econometrics are this uh, again it's the list is not limited to this topics there are many more topics but some of the famous ones are like arima it's a time series modeling technique vector auto regression is famous markovs and monte carlo error correction model uh, arch gauge some regression techniques most of them are time series uh, modeling techniques time series is heavily used in financial research whether it's volatility modeling where you arch and gauge so this is used for volatility modeling and then for a uh, price prediction you can use arima and and things like that but apart from that you also use uh, techniques such like copula right copula is heavily used is some sort of a correlation that extreme value theory is also used extreme value theory so the very popular uh, academic journals in financial econometrics are these again this the list is not limited to only these journals but these are the famous ones econometrica is the most famous journal on econometrics it also uh, covers a lot of financial econometrics papers then you have journal of econometrics journal of business and economic economic statistics and then you have journal of financial econometrics so if you really want to study financial econometrics papers be it a theoretical paper or be it applied paper you can refer to these journals and then some of the real world applications well there are many applications actually and you know, people have been using financial econometrics for decades now now that we're talking about uh, you know analytics or data science or ai being used in many different things also in banking finance trading investment but finance is one field which has been using data and analytics and you know statistical modeling for decades now uh, during the 60s and early 70s there were a lot of work done on the portfolio theory and there people use uh, lots of uh, 
statistical modeling not just in academia but also in the real world in the current time there are some of these quantity investment companies citadel is one renisa technology is one there are many other quantity investment companies that are making use of these uh, modeling techniques to take advantage of the the gamut of data available these days and making uh, yeah, lots of money on that but it's nothing guaranteed frankly speaking one example is ltcm it was a quantitative uh, investment company that used to use financial econometrics for investment it was started by bill prize winners in economics but it didn't succeed it succeeded for quite a few years like four or five years and then the profit plummeted and it went into bankruptcy a bit about how it's uh, related to machine learning and ai now uh, people coming from uh, those backgrounds uh, often get confused about okay then what is econometrics and how is it different from machine learning ai because you know that's more of a uh, that is more commonly used these days, but econometrics is less popular these days compared to machine learning AI. How is this different? There's a very good relationship between econometrics and AI. In fact, AI, when it was started like in the 1960s, a lot of these econometricians actually were working on the AI or the initial phase of the AI revolution in the world. One difference between econometrics and AI is that where AI is very, very focused on prediction econometrics area is more focused on finding relationship between variables so ai is incredibly useful for predicting financial data therefore you use lots of ai techniques these days however it is less useful to explain relationship and in the field of finance you need to be able to explain the relationship between different variables uh, one example could be you know to find out the relationship between inflation and interest rate that kind of uh, problem you cannot solve through AI. Both complement each other, right? If you are a data scientist specializing in ML and AI, you can uh, find financial econometrics or econometrics in general very useful, especially understanding uh, the relationship between different factors. Okay, some of the tools that you can use in financial econometrics Python, MATLAB, C, EView. These are open source, EView is not, but it's used in more uh, used in academia. But nowadays you have a lot of OIL, not MATLAB. MATLAB is obviously again proprietary. Well, R is also very useful. So you can also use R. So these are some of the tools you can use for financial econometrics research. Career prospects. So if you study financial econometrics, you can find employment in banks, uh, be it in the pricing team, in model validation team, in risk management, risk modeling team, uh, credit risk modeling, market risk modeling, operational risk modeling, asset liability management modeling. So in lots of these departments, you can find opportunities. Insurance companies, again, in all areas like credit risk or market risk, these risk areas. But apart from that, they have really large team for pricing analytics, right? And that's where they use financial economics heavily, quite heavily. Pension fund, quantitative hedge fund. It's very difficult to get into quantitative hedge fund. But if you have a PhD in maths, physics, and you live in UK or some yeah, Western European countries or in the US, you you can indeed get a uh, get a job in quantitative hedge funds because you don't have quantitative hedge funds uh, in many parts of the world. But if you have access to these, you know, large financial centers, you can certainly find jobs there. They use a lot of financial economics. Trading companies, uh, as goes without saying, they use financial economics for the, their day-to-day -day trading activities. And then macroeconomic research. People coming from economics background or statistics background can find employment uh, in these companies. And rating agency, whether it's Standard & Poor, Moody's, they use also a lot of financial economics uh, techniques in, the, in their day-to-day -day work. So these are some of the career prospects. And if you have further questions, please write to us. You can find our email ID in the description. Thank you.